track apps allow you to get feedback from exactly what the car is doing, how it's performing on a track in terms of acceleration, braking, and g-forces. So as a customer, it really tells you what's the car doing and how are you doing as a driver. Typically a driver would be forced to purchase a $400 to $600 drift box in order to record this type of data to understand how they're driving and how the car is performing. A drift box is expensive. You have to drill holes into your dash and you have to mount a remote antenna onto the car for the GPS to work. What we've done is we've seamlessly integrated the capability of the drift box into what we call track apps. Acceleration timer basically allows you to determine how fast does it take to get from point A to point B. And so what the acceleration timer allows you to do is 0 to 60, 0 to 100, quarter mile and eighth mile times. It'll measure how long did it take and how fast were you going. We added a drag racing Christmas tree in order to indicate to the driver when is it time to go. We could have just said ready, set, go, but instead we added a piece of eye candy that is identical to what you'll see at any drag strip. What it tells you is yellow, 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 green. And that allows you to know when is it time to hit the gas and do your zero to 60 time. because that basically tells you, on a track, how well is the car holding? You know, is it sliding off the track? Or is it holding to the track and allowing you to run better lap times? So the key graphic in the middle of the accelerometer is the bullseye. What the bullseye really tells you is, how far off of a set position are you? In other words, how far to the left, the right, the fore, or aft are you pulling? So when you do a heavy acceleration, your goal is to make that dot go down as far as possible. And when you do a hard turn, you'll send the dot spiraling across the screen. That's really the goal on the accelerometer, is to make sure that you can uh, have the car hold onto the track as aggressive as possible. The braking allows you to measure braking distances and braking time. So how long did it take you to bring the car from 60 to zero or from 100 to zero? A driver needs to know that in order to understand the true capability of the car, tires, brakes, on a track, in order to run aggressive lap times. It allows you to know how far can you push a car into a turn and still have your brakes hold and make that turn.